I'm Stan, and you're watching SC Living Outdoors. What's up guys? I'm back at the farm again today. It is Wednesday, October 4th, and I'm going back to my spot, try to put some more meat in the freezer. Got the CVA again. We'll see. I know that the deer have been moving really, really well right now um, around this area and then all over. Uh, in the, well, I mean close by here, I've been seeing a lot hit on the roads, which means they've been moving. I've been seeing bucks. I've been seeing, talking to people that have been hunting, they've been seeing a lot of deer. So. Hopefully something will come out and we can knock something down. Stick around. All right, guys, it's not a big buck, but it's a buck. On uh, this farm, I'm not really hunting so much for giants. I'm just putting meat in the freezer, so. Looks like he's a little, well, he's not really a tiny deer, but. That's a little four point. I don't know, he's probably, uh, I don't know, 100, probably 130 pounds, so that'd be some good meat in the freezer, and uh, 
some it's kind of a weird rack but he'll eat good hit him right there high shoulder he was quartering towards me Find my buck tag. Oh, wait. No, not the right one. There we go. Alright, here we go. Tools of the trade. Got a little Gerber saw for uh, cutting through your brisket. Got my uh, Ella Bean skinning knife. And then I just got a regular saw to cut off the legs. Time to get to work. So quick little plug, my sister gave me this Gerber um, little knife that's or saw that's made for uh, like splitting down the brisket. And this is the first time I've been able to use it. My sister, my older sister Betsy gave it to me for Christmas. Thing works awesome. So if you want a small little pack saw uh, to carry kind of wherever, it doesn't barely take up any room. Buy one of these. Cool, cool little tool. All right, got them all skinned out, washed off in the cooler, icing down. I'll take them to the processor in the morning and uh, get them cut up, put in the freezer. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the night. Uh, I know that wasn't a big buck, but right now, especially where I was hunting tonight, I'm just trying to fill the freezer. Like 98%, maybe even more than that, of the red meat that Caitlin and I eat every year is deer or bear if I get a bear. And uh, I also give deer meat to my mom and my dad and my sisters. So, um, you know, for the next two or three months, I guess mainly the next two months or so, I'm just trying to fill the freezer. The, the field where I was hunting tonight, uh, Caitlin's family, my wife's family owns all that field, but then they only own a little bit of woods all the way around it. So there's people that hunt all those woods, different people that kind of shoot whatever. So I can't really trophy manage it, even if I wanted to. Believe it or not, that's actually the first actual buck I've ever killed at that place in three years. So um, I'm happy. Filled a buck tag, got some meat in the freezer. And um, this weekend we're going up to check cameras in the mountains. That's always exciting. It's like Christmas. Oh, man, I got some blood on me. Oh, well. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.